handbag or bell of the gods. The symbolic meaning of many ancient symbols is raging on across many understandable theories. At the entrance to the Great Pyramid, we have theorized about the hieroglyphic meaning of such an entrance. And of course, if you consider that this is a symbol and not just a revealing entrance, then you could be forgiven for arriving at the conclusion that a translation in hieroglyphic form means workings, workings of the highest. The geometric patterns in the stonework are weighing a combined weight of 100 odd tons. Of course, there very well may be no meaning here at all. It might just be an over-engineered relieving stones to divert the immense weight of the monument, but consider for a moment it's not. Workings of the highest is what it is telling us. These are the hieroglyphic translations of the entry, the original entry possibly a grand entry to the Great Pyramid. The altar or throne under this gigantic pyramid feature and appear to have ancient symbols inscribed though, these symbols are not attested to be genuine by experts, but it did get us thinking about another world enigma, the very mysterious handbag of the gods. Now, wait till you hear this. What if the so-called handbag is not a handbag or a carrier for seeds or anything like that. What if it is a bell? You heard us correctly guys. This may be a representation of a bell. And before you dismiss this idea, consider the following. Bells were used to communicate over large distances. Importantly, religions such as Buddhism, Hindu and even ancient Egyptian religion use bells to worship the sun gods and maybe some sort of bell was installed at the top of the pyramids just as we see in modern churches and other sacred buildings today. The Egyptians saw bells as a musical instrument of the gods, as items that can carry the will of the gods across the land, provide peace, clear minds and exile bad spirits. The Bible has many mentions of the bells, especially in the tales of Moses who studied priesthood in Egypt and carried knowledge of bells and gongs to Christianity. And there is a physical bell in existence that could relate to this idea. The bell of St. Patrick is incredibly similar to these depictions of bells that are seen across the world. Maybe that is what they were used for, to communicate in a certain decibel and also an item once used by the gods. And in the case of St. Patrick, the bell is frequently mentioned in Irish written text and is regarded as one of the principal relics of Ireland. It's clear it is an item of the gods as it was used by a saint of the holy apostles, but what does it mean and can connections across cultures be made? The early Christian period in Ireland was a time when the people who played a significant role in bringing Christianity to Ireland were revered as heroes. After their deaths, they were seen as flawless and holy and were constantly celebrated. Objects that they used in their life, such as staves, books, or in Patrick's case, a bell, goblet, and gospel, as well as actual body parts were kept for people to worship in churches and during religious ceremonies. According to legend, whenever St. Patrick had set up a new Christian community or parish somewhere in Ireland, he would choose one of his disciples to lead it after he left and present them with a bell to call the parishioners to prayer and to use during religious ceremonies. Apparently in Connaught alone he had bestowed over 50 bells and at one point had as many as three smiths among his followers who were employed full time to make bells. Legend has it that the bell has never rung or tolled as it were since Patrick's death, except on two occasions. Once in 1932 at the Pontifical High Mass of the International Eucharist Congress in Dublin's Phoenix Park and again in 1979 when Pope John Paul II visited Ireland and held another mass attended by one million. Could these depictions very well be a bell of the gods and not a handbag filled with seeds? The Lamassu are the half man half bull in the Sumerian religion that were often followed by a warrior grasping a wriggling lion. Figures which produced an overwhelming impression of power and we also see the Minotaur in Greek legend and 
Irish legend tells us about how these things came to be. In the legend of a dispute by two men who had a big fight over a long period of time, transforming into various animal and human forms during this long fight and eventually becoming two worms, which were swallowed by two cows and reborn as two bulls. The sacred cows of the Hindu faith with bells around their necks are worshipped as sacred. The cow is associated in this faith with Aditi, mother of all the gods. Kamadenu, the cow of wishes or desires, has a bovine body, a female head and wings like a tropical bird, like we see with the Lamassu, except with a peacock's tail. Her milk is streaming over a Shiva Linga, only to be channeled by the Yani to become a sacrificial oblation in the sacred fire. The spiritual significance of the cow is readily apparent in the use of milk, butter, and ghee in Vedic ritual ceremonies. Shiva and Pravati look on from above, surrounded by waves of light, making gestures of blessing, protection, and assurance. Ganta is the Sanskrit term for a ritual bell used in religious practices. The ring of the bell produces what is regarded as an auspicious sound, and Hindu temples generally have one metal bell hanging at the entrance, where devotees ring the bell while entering the temple, which is an essential part in preparation of worship. We also see the symbol for the bull in the Taurus constellation. Taurus has a meaning that is surrounded by soft sounds, and maybe this is what the bell is representing, the serene sound of the gods, the approval or blessing of the gods. Bells are first mentioned in the Bible, Exodus 28, 31 through 35, during a description of the high priest's robe. Exodus instructs that bells of gold were to be attached to the hem of the high priest's robe so that the people could hear the high priest as he entered and exited the Holy of Holies. The Holy of Holies was the most sacred space in the Old Testament tabernacle and temple. By ringing the bell, we clear away bad energy. We draw people in. Churches ring their bells to attract parishioners to mass. Civilization reemerged in Sumer 4,500 years before the birth of Christ. They are showing us that these intrigued depictions that something is important. And these gods were worshipped as God before any other religion emerged. In this sense, there is a hidden understanding that we do not know of, yet we do still use in religious circles as a symbol of God. Some say the handbag represents weight and suggest the weight would be how deep you filled a bag with riches as the gods taxed the people. In this sense, these gods are collecting precious metals from the people. Gold, in other words, that is the best explanation academia have afforded. Their best guess, basically, but maybe, just maybe, this was a bell, and the existence of St. Patrick's Bell may be the answer we have been looking for. But what do you guys think about this? Comments below, and as always, thank you for watching. Let there be light.